These days, comic books are being adapted into movies and TV series like never before, which I personally think is fantastic. And next year, several new animated shows are set to be released, and this video is going to count down all of them. Young Justice First, we have the third season of Young Justice that is currently in production, and is set to be released in 2018. The show was originally cancelled back in 2013 after only two seasons and one tie-in video game. But due to fans' demands and love of the show, DC are bringing it back. Now, the show won't be returning to Cartoon Network, nor will it be going to Netflix as most of us thought it would. Instead, it will be on DC's new online streaming service. Not a lot of information has been released on this site, but essentially it's going to be like Netflix, but just for DC's content. And hopefully it won't be too expensive, and we'll have DC producing more of their comics into animation, which I personally would love. And another show set to be released on the site is Titans. There is of course the original animated, or classic, Teen Titans show, and that new, rather terrible adaption, Teen Titans Go. And though these may also be on the DC streaming site as well, the new Teen Titans adaption is set to be live action and just called Titans. We're not going to talk much about it in this video though, as it's not animated, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Next we have Constantine. Constantine was a live action TV series that didn't make it past the first season. In fact, it didn't even have a full season. Instead, it only had 13 episodes till it was cancelled, though more were originally planned. Which is a shame, because it actually wasn't that bad a show, and it's annoying for people like myself who watched the show and now have no idea where the plot was going. One of the best things about the show was Matt Ryan, who was the actor playing Constantine. He was so good at the role that his guest appeared on the show Arrow as Constantine, and stars in the animated movie Justice League Dark in the same role. And he is brilliant at playing Constantine, and so the new animated series will feature him in the lead. The show is set to be released on CW Seed, much like Vixen was. And if you haven't seen the live action series, it went on CW Seed on the 1st of July 2017, and it should still be there. Though it is also available on Amazon Prime Video at the moment, which is where I watched it. The animated series is set to be 5-6 to six episodes that are roughly 10 minutes each in length. The show is set to pick up where Constantine's appearances in the show Arrow ended. And the showrunners have said that it's the same Constantine who is in the live action Constantine TV show. So they all share a universe. Which I'm very happy about because, as I said, there are a lot of unanswered questions from the live action series. And so hopefully this show will deal with them. The character Constantine is also set to appear in two episodes of the third season of Legends of Tomorrow. Again, his story is set after his appearance in Arrow. And another show set to be released on CW Seed is Freedom Fighters The Ray. The web series is animated and set in the Arrowverse, so the characters may later feature in one of the other Arrowverse shows. And though the show is set in the same universe, it's actually on an alternate Earth and timeline to the other shows. The Earth is called Earth X, which is basically a world where the Nazis won World War II, and it features evil versions of much of the Arrowverse, including Green Arrow, The Flash, and Supergirl, all of whom are voiced by the same actors starring in the shows Arrow, The Flash, and Supergirl, respectively. As I've said, the show is going to be released on CW Seed Online, and though most of it will be released in 2018, it's first going to come out in December 2017, though Earth X is set to feature in this year's crossover Arrowverse event on the 27th and 28th of November, between the shows Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. Not much has been released on the story, but it looks like it will feature an attack from the characters of Earth X and the wedding of Barry Allen and Iris West. So most likely we'll be having some evil doppelganger fights and alternate versions of characters, as well as appearances from dead characters such as Leonard Snart. And that's pretty much all the information out about the show, though it has also been announced that Ray will be gay, which makes sense as the rest of the Freedom Fighters and the source material was made up of women, gay men and Jews, because that's who the Nazis hated the most. So in this universe, they're pretty much public enemies 1, 2 and 3. The Ray is going to be played by the actor Russell Tovey, for now just voicing the Ray, but as I said, it's been announced that he may feature later in a live action role in the Arrowverse. Much like Vixen's sister appearing in the animated Vixen show, then later as the water assassin in the third season of Legends of Tomorrow. Though in this case, they did actually change the actress playing her. Though it seems more likely of the Ray features, they'll keep the same actor, because this time around, they seem to be keeping in mind that they might have him in the live action series, as well as the animated one. And finally, we have the show DC Superhero Girls. Now, DC Superhero Girls has been on YouTube for the past couple of years, and the show has also had a few DVD release movies. But in 2018, it's moving from online and DVDs to a regular slot on TV on the channel Cartoon Network. 
The series is going to be developed by Lauren Frost, who has worked on other shows such as My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, The Powerpuff Girls, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and Wanda Over Yonder. Now I must admit I'm not actually that much of a fan of the series DC Superhero Girls, but who knows, the TV show may be better than the quality of the shorts and the movies. And that is it for the animated TV series being released in 2018. Personally I think the best one of these is Constantine, and though I am really looking forward to seeing Young Justice as well, I'm more hyped for that show as I love the Constantine character. But what about you? What show are you most excited for in 2018? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to Needlemass Productions' page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.